All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I am Captain Beefy here with the Game Vault. We are uh, going to try and recover the crap we lost since we just died. Um, we got to go find those that set of ruins, which sucks. But in any case, we were exploring and we were um, we we did get some new stuff. We can build a uh, sea moth now, and I believe we can build a scanner room. So that's two big things. That's huge. The sea moth will give us a lot more distance we can cover. And yep, here we are. So here's where we croaked. So we're going to have to get inside. And hopefully we can recover some of the resources we had. I mean, if not all of them. I'm trying to see where we were going to come out of on that. Because I think we were very close to exiting, right? Not seeing it. So <sighs> let's go charge up real quick with our air. Was that it up here? feel like we can get in there now. Alright. We want to be as fully charged as possible on our air when we go in there, so... Let's go. So we went in this way. We went through here. And then we went through here. Nope, that's back out. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ugh. It's not that easy to get through here, you know. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. And down here. And through here. That's not good, but this was... Yeah, I think we were in this room pretty much. Okay. We can scan a prawn suit fragment. Okay, so that's where we were. All right, cool. So we can go back in that hole real quick. And gather those couple things we lost. We didn't lose anything major. Is this it right here? Yep, this is it. But, you know. Some useful stuff like the water. There we go. Lots of titanium. Yeah, we were so close to getting out. Look at that, man. So close. Lots of titanium. Is there more? Yep, there was more. Oh, a little piece of crystal there. Just 
more, yep, more titanium. All right, let's see if there was anything else scannable in here. I don't know if there was or not. I'm not picking up anything, and that's not a door we can go through. Anything else in here? Oh, another prawn suit fragment. Battery charger fragment. That's good. That's important, actually. Once we get the battery charger, um, that's a great addition to uh, a base because, well, obviously you charge batteries. All right, let's get out of here real quick. We're running low on air. There we go. We'll go back in and see if there's another battery charger fragment because, you know, there's always the chance of there being multiple in a location. You know, multiple pieces of a certain item. If you find one, there's a chance you'll find more. So, let's look around a little bit. I should have done this first. All right. That's a data terminal. Interesting. Modification station fragment, okay. That's huge. Oh, look at that battery charger fragment. Now we can make a battery charger. How sweet is that? Another prawn suit fragment. Another modification station fragment. Wow. So we can make a modification sta uh, station. That's great. We downloaded whatever we could out of there. Is this the way out? Oh, no, but there's more stuff in there, but we want to get out of here now, right? So we gotta. I think it's up through here. Yeah. Get the hell out of here again, real quick. 30 seconds. Looks like there's a few more things to scan down there. Uh, this has proven to be a very uh, lucrative wreck to explore. And taking your time with it is definitely the way to go because, as you can see, we've managed to uh, find quite a bit of uh, interesting stuff in here. So where was it? Was it down here? Nope. There it is. Through here. So what do we got here? More battery charger stuff. Even more. Little supply crate. We got some water. Anything else? Like another battery. Yep. Picture frame. It's kind of cool and random. Oh, ooh, propulsion cannon. Make that now. There's another piece. All right, well. This has been a very, very lucrative run. All right, let's not get stuck. Thirty seconds. We're heading home.
and we're going to uh, focus on building stuff that we need real quick. Oxygen. Which will include a... Um, ship, you know, the sea moth, and maybe even a scanner room, I'm not sure, but anyway, let's get inside, and then we'll figure things out. First off, that's right, we moved everything into here. Do we have anything to cook? We don't have anything to cook. Alright, so we're in trouble with that, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and dump off. A lot of this. And let's see if we can make a battery charger, right? So that's going to be kind of important. So wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. We can't make that right. Intake recommended. All right, so we need right now to go catch some fish. That's our main priority at the moment. fish. We do have some of those like nutri nutrition bars or whatever they're called. But I like to save them for an absolute emergency because you never know. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, that's done. Hey, you never know when you're going to need them, so... There's that. Go ahead and pull that table coral out, and we'll put the gold in, and the salt. Table coral goes in here. Titanium goes in there. Alright, so... We talked about earlier graph trap, right? Battery, titanium, and copper. So let's do that. Let's do, we got a battery. Got copper. We got titanium. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. It's very useful, actually. don't need to babysit it. 
right? So, you can take it somewhere like right over here. Let's find some. Yep, there's some fish around here, right? So we take it, we put it in our uh, hot bar there, and then we chuck it. Boop. And it'll do its thing and start sucking on the fish. So we got these ruins right next to our base. We'll check them out real quick. cannon fragments, okay. Or we can open. Now you see these doors that are blasted like that? Those are the ones we need the laser cutter for. Laser cutter takes a minute to work, so we will... Fill our O2 real quick. And then come down and cut through those doors. Alright, so we're heading back down. store. As you can see, it takes a decent amount of time. You know, we're working on it, we're cutting a hole, we get through, and we're outside. Perfect. Derp. Alright, well let's go through this one. That's kind of funny actually. some goodies here like a mobile bay fragment here's a data box what's in there lightweight high capacity tank cool all right so let's put that back on our hot bar and ah. we know we don't have far to get out of here so We'll just do this. What else we got? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. You get lots and lots of titanium, so that's great, actually. Ugh. And off to the surface. head back down and as you can see we've picked up uh, quite a few fish. Oh, it looks like it picked up some of the stuff too, huh? Cool. So yeah, look at all these fish we've picked up. And it basically makes it a lot easier to grab them as the ball keeps them on a leash, you know. stock up a fish tank if uh, that's what you're looking to do. Yeah, it also picks up some other goodies. Alright, so let's go home.
ports while we're at it. So with that little grab ball, you really don't end up with uh, this here even though uh, we normally wouldn't build on these walls just for stuff like this stuff we don't need to carry around with us okay First things first, let's look at the mobile vehicle bay, a titanium ingot, a lubricant, and a power cell. Alright, so one thing that we really need to get now is a bit of copper. When I say a bit, yeah, I mean a bit. We're going to probably need about, I don't know, six to ten pieces of copper. So, let's go ahead and grab that puppy out. Let's start looking for some limestone because copper is where it's at. We're going to need to make some batteries, we're going to need to make some uh, copper wiring. We'll continue to gather titanium from this kind of stuff. Here's some more scanner room pieces just because it's useful. Another laser cutter fragment. And if you're pretty meticulous about exploring areas and getting everything you can find there, you end up with quite a bit of resources early on. And like I said, those resources are not gonna go bad on you. They're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna disappear on you as long as, you, even if you make stuff you don't need, you can always tear it down later. Alright, there's a hunk of copper. There's our base. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that we can get copper off of these guys. So let's surface real quick. And head back down and take a look. I think these barnacles right here. Alright, that gave me silver. That gave me copper. But there are like dangerous plants on there that shoot stuff at you sometimes. And I think that's what hit us and hurt us. Yeah, right there, that guy. Shooting little spikes at us. So anyway, we got a piece of silver and we got a piece of copper. There's a couple more of these on here. Let's hit them real quick. Piece of copper. Probably gonna take another hit here, but that's okay. Yep, another piece of copper. So that was a good solid little run. Definitely worth the couple uh, hits we took. As they're not the end of the world. Again, this isn't a game that you get attacked a lot and damaged a lot and you end up suffering a lot of, uh, you know, fighting for your life. Only in a few instances. And in those cases, uh, you really, the goal is to not fight. It's to get away and to be stealthy. So it's kind of interesting the way it works. A little sandstone there. I think we were in here already.
new creature discovered. Back to the surface for a minute. Pop off of there. And let's go back to the shallows. The shallows is a nice mellow area. on that one and got too much crap I think early on, but that's fine. Maybe we'll be able to build one thing. Can the power cell. The power cell requires two batteries. I think I can make the two batteries. I also make some copper wire. Look at that. And a wiring kit. I know I needed all that for stuff. Alright, cool. I can make a titanium ingot. vehicle bay, all I need is lubricant and a power cell. Okay, so for the power cell, I need one of those. There we go. And there's the mobile vehicle bay. Okay, so with that thing, you can head right on out, put it in our little hot bar there, and then boop, and it will go all the way to the surface and hang out there. So now we've got a mobile vehicle bay. Perfect. I think we wanted to build a compass too, so let's see if we have the ability to do that yet. And yep, we sure can. That was copper wire and a wiring kit. That's great. I wanted the compass. Now, as you can see, at the top underneath the power and all that, and my depth, it'll tell me what direction I'm facing. So that's perfect. And let's cook up some food. that we won't need to drink a water. I don't know. We'll see. Lots of food, though. All right. You're pretty good there. We'll take the first aid kit. 
grab another. All right, now we're gonna go into our blueprints here and let's see what it takes to make a Seamoth. So one power cell, two glass, lead lubricant, and a titanium ingot. So a power cell requires two batteries and I've only got one. All right. So once again, our goal is going to be copper. So we'll go check these dudes out. I would like a little more silver, and if we can get silver off these guys too, that's fantastic. Also take sandstone because always useful stuff in there. the thing stuck to him. That's funny. Alright, well there's another guy close to the surface there. We'll try him for some uh, copper. Hopefully we'll be able to get a piece or two off of him. He's just a baby. He doesn't have anything on his back. Well, that sucks. Is this? Yeah, this looks like another one over here. Okay. So one thing we can do is we can go like this and unload the battery and then put this other battery in. So you can take from one piece and put it into another one. Yeah, we may have already hit this guy up. All right, screw it. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. One, there's two. Copper there, a little bit of silver. Let's look for some more. This biome's a little 
little different. Look at these things. These are cool. Let's get back close to home. Is this the same? No. In fact, instead of going back all the way to the base, we're going to go. No, we're gonna go to Yeah, we're gonna go to base. Alright. So let's see, what do we need for the battery charger? Copper wire. Can we make copper wire? Bingo bango bongo, we sure can. Also make a battery. Isn't that wonderful? Alright, so now we have the ability to make a battery charger. So let's go ahead and pop that on the wall. our power up there at the top of the screen 71 out of 75 so this is where things get tricky with uh, with your base is power usage because the battery charger sucks up quite a bit of juice we're gonna grab a couple quarts So yeah, we're going to run out of power here very shortly. Alright, so anyways, we'll put one up for now. That'll raise the base power level to 150. power stabilizes at 42 then, then because that's the only thing that's really drawing power at this time so once the Sun comes up again we'll start generating power and until we can build a um, bioreactor which we can do soon pretty much any time uh, all we need is a couple as a wiring kit and a place to put it we can put it theoretically right here, although it would jam that room up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, 
that's the next thing that we can do. All right, so let's go ahead and put these up. down to 37 because we use the uh, fabricator. That fabricator uses power um, every time you make something. So that's another thing you got to be aware of. So bumping up our power level to 150 is a good thing. It, um, it will let us charge those batteries up a little bit better once the morning comes. And that's what we will pretty much wait for at this point. So I'm going to thank everybody for joining me. Captain Beefy here on the Game Vault for another episode of Subnautica. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that bell for notifications. Give the video a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game. It's a lot of fun, a little tedious, but it's it's beautiful. And it's, you know, it's got this eeriness to it that I really, really appreciate. So you do as well and share the video on social media every bit of exposure helps we are at 13 subscribers i would love to get a dozen more and bump that up to 25 if possible thanks everybody we'll see you next time stay dry